What's up guys, my name is PWTD and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a video. The reason why I haven't uploaded any video is because I didn't have any good ideas for content and also I was quite lazy to make one. But now I finally got the brains and the strength to make another one. Now let's move on to the video. introduction now as you already know the title you know what this video is gonna be this is episode 2 of the is it worth it series for this episode I'm gonna be reviewing the red dragon harrow wireless gamepad here it is so I bought this gamepad in a local store to be specific I bought this in databits this gamepad cost me 950 pesos. It also means it's affordable and you can buy this with a good price. But before you buy this controller, let's actually review it and to see if it is worth it. Before we actually unbox and review this gamepad, let's have a quick look at the box. So at the side it says it has X input and game support. A non slip surface, which I'm gonna test if these are real. At the opposite side, it has a 8 way D pad and also vibration feedback. At the back, it has features, specifications, and package contents. Now, I'll give you a quick second to read. I'm actually interested about this gamepad. First, it has a X input and game support. Then it got a non slip surface and it also has an 8 way D pad and vibration feedback. All for 950 pesos. Wow. Now, let's actually unbox and review. Now, let's this actually gamepad. unbox this gamepad. this Ooh. something there and here's the gamepad it's a gamepad right here wow that is some good design like it has a matte finish so you don't really have to worry about like fingerprints and you also have this side like it's I am I'm not really sure if this will actually slip slip but I will test it out, you know. So, a USB cable right here. So you can play it with the wired. And I think this also are charge is for charging. The operation manual. Okay, it's, it has English, I guess. But here's how it works. Wait. Gosh. There's also a CD driver. I'm not gonna be using this one. I don't have an optical drive in my PC, unfortunately. Oh shit. Okay. You also got a dongle here. So you can connect this red dragon through the PC. But I don't know what to do with this. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep it. So here is the red dragon Harrow wireless gamepad. Okay. The front plate, it looks good, looks clean. Back plate is, is decent, you know. Now, before I'm gonna say the ratings and stuff, I will actually uh, give you a clip of me playing a game with the Red Dragon Harrow. Uh, to be specific, the game is Shadows, uh, no, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Well, don't even expect for me to do good gameplay, you know, I'm just trying out this controller. I'll see you in a minute.
I know my game the game was hard I'm telling you bro I've been playing that that level for one hour and I still can't defeat that boss you know fuck that game anyways I'm gonna give my rating overall not actually overall but let's I'm gonna rate this by each of these buttons and stuff the layout okay, first let's go with the analog stick out of five I mean over five I'm such a dumb ass, you know over five I'm gonna give it um, a 4.5 why when I'm like moving this analog stick at a small like distance it it feels hard you know it feels hard to move but when I'm moving it like long distances it, it's swift it's fast and stuff so it's just a 4.5 d-pad 5 over 5 I didn't really I didn't really get to use this you know the left button and the right button I'm gonna give it a 4.5 why it's good okay it's good but the only problem is it's noisy when you click at that it's really noisy I can hear that it's really a noisy and like maybe not annoying because you're wearing headphones or you're using speaker but I'm using headphones so it's not really that annoying but you know my family members are complaining why is it so noisy for the right for the right trigger and left trigger it's a five over five you know it feels great you know I don't really care you know it feels more of like a Xbox 360 the PS4 is is better of course but you know so this is a budget gaming gamepad last but the last but not least I uh, actually last but the least the buttons over here the four buttons it sucks wait no it doesn't suck for me but from like other people like I think my friend has one of these online friend okay he said it, the button sucks you know it's clicky it's springy it travels in a long distance which i do agree it's springy it travels in a long distance and also clicky but like i'm good with the springy and long distance because i have played with generic uh gamepad brands i'm actually good with it but with the long distance it just sucks the combination is completely bad that's why i give it a I'm gonna say 3.5. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a 3.5. You know, it's not that bad for the build quality. As I said earlier, the back plate is decent, not that bad, not that good. Front plate looks good, okay. With the rubber coating right here, it, it looks clean. Also, this anti slip surface, you know. Now, overall rating. Hmm. Out of five, we give it our overall rating of a four. And if you question yourself, should you buy this gamepad now? To be honest, I have observed this gamepad, and it looks like a, you know, a Xbox One plus a X PS4 controller. And then you got this, cause the layout is a PS4, and the the build is basically Xbox One, as you can see. But should you buy this gamepad? Hmm. Depends on you. If you don't like these long distances springy, to me, I like it. You know, it feels it feels good. You know, it feels like I'm playing a what you want call that? Okay, it's like an arcade button. You know. Although this one is way more clicky. But for me, I think you should. First, it costs nine hundred fifty, or you can might buy it in Lazada or Shopee. For a lesser price, but for me, I bought this in 950, and it is worth it, bro. It's good, you know. Like actually, also, it's my first time to see a gamepad that has a rubber coating on it because the PS4, you know, it's just plastic, but it was high quality plastic, and also the Xbox One, Xbox 360. Well, it's it's good, you know. I don't I don't remember using. I don't remember. And, Anyways, yeah, you should buy this. It has a good price. It's affordable. You can, 
No, for me, like I can't say it's like really that inexpensive because like for me, I'm a student. I don't work. I don't have any job. I only get allowance from my parents, and you know I only saved for like two weeks to get buy this. So, this gamepad is actually worth it. It's good. To be honest, it's good. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, you liked it and you know you enjoy my shit gameplay. I know you're so